Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Persona 3 Reload. Quite a bit of a heavy episode last time as we beat the final uh, shadow boss that comes out in every full moon. We also beat Strega before that. Um, but the Dark Hour did not end. And in fact, we learned that um, Ikutsuki, the chairman, had actually been... Uh, deceiving us this whole time in that he wanted the Dark Hour to flourish and basically wipe out mankind because evil. Because he believes salvation lies in the ruination of mankind. A again, I never got the whole point of that, but whatever. Um, I guess he also took control of Igus, who basically knocked us out and he was going to sacrifice us. And let me go there before the cutscene plays. Um, Mitsuru's dad comes and tries to save us, but they basically end up killing each other. And here we are now, Dark Hour still going on, and not knowing what the fuck to do. Fuka also gave Yukari a an undoctored version of. Uh, her dad's message, the one that we saw at Fukushima, that said that uh, the shadows, uh, the bosses that initially came about, should not be touched. Leave them alone, because if you kill them, they will basically converge into one and basically wipe out all of humanity. And what do we do? We killed all of them. Very convenient that we found that, uh, that DVD right after we killed the final one. So yeah, uh, as I said, we don't know what's where to go from here. We have no clear direction. Uh, Mitsuru is, you know, locked up in a room. She's taken the death of her dad pretty badly, as, as well she should. Um, but yeah, very, very somber tones going on right now. Very somber. Never mind the music, though. Um, listen. As you already know, Mitsuru is a very strong person. But this is just too huge. Um. I think it's best if we skip going to Tartarus tonight. Not everyone is here, so I doubt anyone would want to go anyway. Hmm. What in the world is was akutsuki san plotting? He went on about resurrection and sacrifices, but he kicked the bucket before explaining the most important part. Indeed. I never thought he would be such an irresponsible adult. Yeah, no one did. I can't believe... <laughs> what sound was that? I can't believe you respected that scumbag Kikutsuki so much. Dude, I'm so pissed off. This would be a great time for one of those memory erasers. I'm never gonna trust another adult ever again. See what the news has to say. Shocked by the sudden death of the Carrillo Group president, as a result of his death, an emergency meeting has been called. Let's see if we can go to Mitsuru's room. Mitsuru doesn't seem to be in her room. Where's Yukari? I guess doesn't seem to be in her room. Sorry. Sorry, I want to be alone right now. Sorry. Hey. Sorry. Alright. Uh, can we do anything? No, we can't. Um, let's go to Club Escapade. See if there's any new uh, items we can get. Or notes, rather, from this guy. Yeah, we can. Go have a look for yourself. Ninja fan site. A note with the URL of a site that studies ninja skills for greater agility. Cool. <laughs> it's. I got money for days, man. Now that it's winter, people are thinking of Christmas. But I bet it's no sweat for you. How many dates have you got lined up? Does Japan celebrate Christmas? I don't think they do. Ikukan's chairman fell from the observatory while stargazing, right? 
Doesn't something about that picture strike you as odd? What do you think? It's not odd to me. Maybe he liked stars so much he fell trying to reach for them? I don't know, man. Welcome. Yeah, that's certainly good as uh, a theory as any, I guess. So we have the ever uh, we have one every string. Oh, excuse me. And nothing up here yet, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we pretty much we rescued everyone. Um. Ba -ba -ba. Nothing new there. What quest have we got? Oh, right. We got to go back to the teacher to get the helm from him. You got to get that weapon from the king and I. Have a Mithras at level 26 or higher. Okay. Um, let me see if I can do that. Let me let me check one more time what I need to do. Born King and I. You'll need King Frost and the biggest, baddest boy of all, Jack Frost. What do I get? Garden Sense. So I need a Mithras level twenty six. Okay, let's try it out. Marvelous. No, oh, thank I'm you. Looking forward. How may I assist you? Okay, first off, let's register because we haven't done that in a while. Registering is overriding acceptable. All registered. Now then, let's What? kind of persona do you desire? So there's no Mithras here. Okay, Are you know you what? Finished? I'll deal with this some other time. Um, just because... Um, I will have to bring up a fusion cal uh, calculator uh, on how to get the get the stuff, uh, get these personas, because otherwise I'm literally going to be spending like maybe an hour trying to figure all this shit out, which I'm not going to do. We'll do it some other time though, and. Go to the third floor. I don't think. I don't think there's any anything else I can buy here anymore. Come again. Uh, let's go here and get the other SP item. My coworker got into an accident. He's got to wear a truss now. I feel sorry for him. Can't work until his back heels, and there's no workman's comp for us cabbies. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I'm still gonna buy this stuff just because, you know, extra SP items is extra SP items. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go back home. Uh, so I can't hang out with anyone. Oh, a Taiyaki? Eleven, eleven. okay. So, yeah, my stats are all maxed, which means I can't... Studying is pointless. Uh, going to the arcade is kind of pointless. Going to karaoke is pointless. Uh, it is Thursday, so I can't work. Yeah. Uh, 
Sure, we'll do the ninja one. Ninja hideout. Looks like a foreign forum. A foreign forum where people post about ninjas. Nimpo. Ninja research score 20, 222. Looks like people are serious about becoming real ninjas. I'll take a look. No ninin ninjas have unique breathtaking methods such as futai buki, okinaga, and more. I found interesting breathing techniques that ninjas use for long distance travel. Maybe I can use this to run swiftly like a ninja myself. Ambush has been enhanced. The amount of time needed to dash before being able to ambush has been decreased. That's cool. So I do have the one more book that increases, um, I think, courage. I'll probably do it at some point just so Welcome. I can have all the books read. Probably got an achievement or something. As I'm sure you are aware, you are currently in a dream. Sorry, not books, but programs. You know what I mean. Now then, there has been a change in you recently. Have you noticed? I'm not really sure. I do not speak of your change in circumstances. I refer to the change in your mentality. That is why I have summoned you here tonight. Going forward, there is one thing you mustn't forget. The paper I signed at the dorm is lying before Igor. You do recognize it. I can see that. Shall I remind you of your commitment? I choose this fate of mine own free will. There is no need to worry. No matter which path you choose, I shall respect your decision. However, you alone must bear the responsibility for your actions, no matter what sort of end they may bring about. Please do keep that in mind. Well then. I bid you farewell. Ah, oh, Igor. Quite the character. Yeah, Chiori. By the way, I don't think we ever do find out anything about Igor from any of the games. I could be wrong, but I've never come across any anything that explains what Igor is about or how he's able to how he knows anything about us, you know? <sighs> and again, I forgot Sorry all about, about Chidori. To visit lately. It's been what? Like, it's been a couple of months, but maybe a month and a half since we've last seen her. Like, how crazy is that? And now Strega's gone too, so she's pretty much alone. A lot's been going on. <sighs> hey, what's wrong? So, you heard about Takai and Jin, huh? I was planning on telling you. I get that they were your friends, but we had to fight them. <sighs> huh? Is that not it? I was right. This fear, this pain. Junpei, in two years, what will you be doing? In two years? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Why do you ask? Oh, almost forgot to mention. I noticed you stopped. You know, hurting yourself. Huh? Oh. I guess. That's good. I mean, you have such beautiful hands. Uh, don't touch me! But, oh! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... This is... too painful. It used to be fun when you came to visit, but now... it's different. Huh? It hurts inside. I can't breathe. I can't take this anymore. What do you mean? I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? Tell me what it is. Junpei, don't come here anymore. Chidori, but why? 
<laughs> yeah. Don't know what's going on with Jidori. It must suck being from such an influential family. I bet some people aren't sad at all about what happened. I just want to make a grab for power. By the way, did you know that the Kirijo group built this school? We have heard that before. I think they built this island, if I'm not mistaken. I hope nothing bad happens. Uh, something going on there. Uh, probably go with Hayase. This is a season where kids who don't have a sweetheart get all lonely. I blame the cold. Just don't try your hand with too many girls at once, or you could cause yourself some trouble. Hey, those motionless kids near the club. Are they... are they the ones with that apathy syndrome everyone's talking about? Oh, you're worrying too much. Aren't they just relaxing? Although, they have been like that for a while. Are they gonna stay there forever? What's up? I, I don't know. Are Is you there? accepting a request? Oh, there's holy shit! There's a lot of new stuff. My apologies. About the request, I hear it's very difficult to obtain even one can of Odin juice. Even among can drink fanatics, only a few have managed to get their hands on it. As it would be unwise to conduct a search without any leads, I advise that you first speak with an expert. This one is merely a hunch, but perhaps you'll find one such person near a persimmon tree. I will await a report of success. Bring me food for a furry friend. Of course. If you don't mind, I'd like you to bring me a certain food. However, it's not something that's typically consumed by humans. In fact, one of your friends seems to delight in eating it. The furry one with four legs. Did you know that? By all means. I think I still have one in my possession. The cat, the cat food. Go clean the restroom. Bring the cleaning supplies and clean the restroom. If I may say so. The request this time is to clean up the city. The location shall be Port Island Station's restroom. Please help clean that area. You already have been provided with the necessary cleaning tools, so please make good use of them. By all means. Oh, right. I forgot about that. I hope I still have it. I should still have it. Do you see anything achievable? Defeat a greedy By shadow. All means. Mech gold medal. Create a persona with Tempest Slash. By all means. Retrieve the last old document. I will await a report. Here are my requests. Never mind. Very well. Good day. Do I not have Very cat well. food on me? Uh -huh. I hear more people have been carrying their meds around in pill cases in case they suddenly get sick. It's good to be prepared, but we have traditions. Don't people remember what an in, in row is? No. Nope. Shoot, listen to me lecturing you like an old timer. Forgot what I said. Have a look around. I do have one. Maybe it's something else. Uh, soul refresh. No. I hear cold symptoms are real persistent this year. Make sure you're washing your hands and gargling properly. You made up your mind? I'll buy five of these. Actually, I'll buy ten. No, you know what? I got a lot of healing already. items. Yeah, exactly. Come again, yeah? I got a lot of healing items. Okay, so what did, what did you say here? Persimmon tree. So I guess I gotta talk to Koromaru about this. Go clean a restroom. Okay. So... Port Island Station. It's getting cold, huh? It's almost winter. 
Yep, almost winter indeed. Riveting. God, this guy following me around just won't quit. It must be one stubborn guy to follow anyone around this much. He'll probably be a detective or something when he grows up. Or paparazzi. Stalker. Hmm, strange. The victims from that incident aren't going away. Usually they, they disappear after the full moon, but... Maybe something's changed and I didn't notice? Or well, whatever it is, it doesn't seem good. It's the time of year where young couples come out of the theater together. But oh, did they underestimate how graphic romance in movies can get. After the movie, they all come out awkward and silent. Gets me every time. <laughs> Golden tomato sprouts. They glow to be very yum yum. Oh god. Uh, I don't know what they do. Sure is vitality. Fifteen days, wow. Uh, I'll buy... I'll buy four. Six thousand, wow. You know what, I'll just buy one. There's no point having extras if I'm never going to use them. Again. We'll see what it does. I was surprised to hear about Mr. Carrijo. Since the Carrijo group has a stake in this company, I'm wondered, worried about the future. To tell you the truth, as long as I don't lose my job, I don't really care what happens. Spoken like a true servant of the public. Dude, did you see that? She helps a mangy cat... The, that those brats were picking on. Then she fed it some real high-class gourmet cat food. It's just a stray cat. Why is she making such a fuss over it? Someone seems to be cleaning the restroom. For, you know, the sixth month in a row now. Should I enter the restroom? Enter. Hey, you can't come in here. I'm still scrubbing the floors. Huh? You're not here to use the toilet? Oh, okay. So you're here to help out, huh? Wow, you even brought your own brush? You really came prepared, didn't you? Well, all right then. Why don't you start from the other corner? Looks like I'll be helping the cleaning lady. One tile just won't get clean. Uh, use soap? Even with soap on the brush, the grime won't come off. What should I do? Scrub harder. I got all my strength and the grime is beginning to lift. The tile is completely clean. Wow, you could eat off that floor. Do you help clean the school restrooms after lunch or something? You really know your stuff. Thanks, kid. Just leave the rest of it to me. I successfully helped clean the bathroom. So, okay. What you needed, you can actually miss that. You need that. You need the scrub brush. I had completely forgotten about that. Good thing I didn't sell it. Some of the items you get, like, they're, they're, they're used in the... In the quests. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything over here. I don't see those two so much anymore. Thank God for that, man. They know the shit out of me. What was up with those guys? They come in, act like a bunch of weirdos, and disappear. I don't get it. Well, you won't have to worry about them anymore. Allegedly. We don't know. We just saw him jump off a fucking bridge. We don't know if they survived or not. Ooh, it's well is strong. Alright, so let's go back to the school. To the persimmon tree. Um, corridor, I guess? Kanzai, huh? So even if I take the bus, it'll cost around 10,000 yen? Uh, how many drinks can I get with 10,000 yen? Yeah, what's up? You like drinks too, huh? But all yours are normal drinks. That Kanzai only drink is so rare and awesome that everyone wants a sip. She doesn't seem interested in the drinks I can buy here. Yeah... So what about the Odin one? Just... 
maybe I need to get all the drinks. Maybe there's something that she likes. Happy Henry likes beer. I know that one. Every teacher has his own personal mnemonic for the first few elements of the periodic table. I think our teacher is one of the more unique ones. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. So if I potentially have to get one of each drink... I have one of each here. Um, Plenium Mall doesn't have any. Naganaki doesn't have any. Strip Mall. And then the other ones left are at the dorm. I wonder if I can go inside without it automatically turning to night. No. No, stay out of longer. Go back to the corridor and talk to that girl again. Okay, so she wants something from Kanzai. I don't know what Kanzai is. Maybe it's something we get to eventually? I have no idea. Oh, um... Faculty office. Man, Kirijo-san is impressive. Her dad just died, but she still went to a meeting outside about the future of the Kirijo group. She's a real go-getter, that one. I wish I could be like that. Ah, who am I kidding? I like being lazy. Mr. Ono seems to have stepped out. And then... Let's see, I averaged two hours of overtime. Now factor in the mean age. Add a little spice here, here, and here. According to my extrapolations of next year's salary here, I can expect a 4.17% increase. Huh? Wait a second, if I round up, that I actually get 5.17% increase. Hmm. Well, in any case, this one's a beautiful equation. Huh? Oh, hello there. Did you overhear my calculations? It's my use of pi in that equation, daring move. Sure, it may not have been strictly necessary, but it's a question of elegance. Even Masamune himself would be impressed. Oh, uh, guess Mr. Ono's been rubbing off on me. And Ew. You are. I assume you're here because you've discovered the beauty of math, right? Once you master its brilliance, even winning the lottery is a breeze. Just calculate the probability from all sides, and determine the precise collection of totals, too. Then if you calculate how much of your winnings you ought to save, you'll always make a profit. Not that I ever bought a, uh, not that I ever bought a ticket. I listened to the secret behind falling in love with math. Fantastic. Mr. Ono doesn't seem to be returning. I decided to give up for today. Uh, maybe I can hear a supplementary lesson. Sure. Hmm. I feel like killing some time with a nice, meaty lecture about the tarot. Again, sorry if you guys aren't interested in this, but... I, I kind of want to see where this goes. Uh, feel free to skip if, you, if you're not interested. How about it? Up for another mammoth lecture? Sure. <laughs> then you're an uncommonly bored student. It's wise use of your time, though. 
Today we'll talk about a slightly advanced way of reading the tarot. Well then. I want to explain how to lower the probability of external factors while being able to foresee a more solid future. Basically, it's a way to combine the power of tarot with other precognitive methods. So, continuing on. The result is kind of a compound method of telling fortunes. The most well-known fusion with tarot is astrology. For example, there's the almost self-explanatory horoscope spread. As such. After shuffling and cutting the full deck of 78, spread them in a circle consisting of 12 cards, then place one more in the center. The 12 in the outer circle correspond directly to the 12 signs of the zodiac, also known as houses. That is to say... Each house shows an answer to a different problem, such as family and work, marriage, friendship, and money. The card in the center represents your overall fortune. This spread has a variety of uses, since you can gain an overall understanding of life. Well then... Ah oh, yes, I forgot to mention the significator. It's used by those more accustomed to reading the tarot, but... Before shuffling, cho you choose one card that best fits the client's image and place it on the field. As such... This is a significator. It's very effective in heightening the client's inspiration. Do you remember the court or face cards? The significator is selected from the minor arcana face cards. All right, all right. For a high schooler, the page card would be best. For an adult, the knight, king, or queen would do it. More experienced readers may use one of the major arcana, but the court cards are suitable most of the time. Well then. Now, back to the ways of fusing the tarot with other fortune telling methods. An even more advanced application would be used uh, would be to use it in conjunction with dowsing. That would be looking for a pendulum to find what you're looking for. So, continuing on. Make a number of piles, with the cards face down, of course, and perform the dowsing ritual on them. If the client's significator is found in the selected pile, you continue with the reading. If not, try again until you do. This is to confirm that your inspiration has been heightened. Hmm. Let's see, what else? Some elementary understanding of Hermetic Kabbalah may be in order first. The spread based on the shape of the Kabbal uh, Kabbalistic Tree of Life is another well-known method. It's a spread where you distribute the cards according to the Ten Trees of Life, or the Sephirot. That is to That's say... One. However, to actually put this method into, uh, into practice, one needs a deep understanding of Kabbalah. Not only do the positions of the cards have meaning, but the lines or paths connecting them do as well. Uh. For example... Chokma, Chesed, and Natsak on the right represent the conscious, while Bina, Gevura, and Hod on the left represent the unconscious. The balance between them is represented by the paths of Keter, Tiferet, Yesod, and Malkoth. Proximity to Keter at the top reveals the spiritual side, with Malkoth at the bottom showing the bodily side. Hmm. Yes, I'm afraid it's much too esoteric to fully explain. It has depths one cannot begin to guess at. I, too, have learned something by telling you all this. Bringing out hidden knowledge is not easy. All right, all right. Thus, that concludes the lecture. Thanks for paying attention. Well, if you ever want to hear it again, I won't mind giving you a little refresher course next time. <laughs> Here's the usual gift for you, O oh studious one. Is that it? Is that done? So, okay, let's head back to Elizabeth, I guess. Give her the, or tell her that I scrubbed the fucking toilet. Good day. Here are my wonderful. Thank you for your help cleaning the Port Island Station restroom. Oh, yes. The brush you used to clean the bathroom. The filth is now encrusted on the bristles might help in battle. A very primitive form of biological warfare. Maybe this is a sort of weapon fusion. No? Please take this as your reward. A made outfit. Lovely. Uh, no. Very well. Oh. Good day. I apologize if this has become repetitive, but I'd like you to escort me once more. 
This time, could you take me to Gekkon High School? You attend. I shall be waiting then. If you have the time after school, please come by and let me know. Uh. Here are my requests. Uh, I'll take her now, I guess. I've been waiting My. for you. I've been waiting for you to ask. Shall we be on our way? Gekukan High School, a place of learning. It's quite a shock that such a warm, illustrious institution transforms into Tartarus every night. You know that huh? Oh dear, what a conundrum! Everyone here seems to have a predetermined form of attire. I fear I may draw too much attention. I hope this won't pose a problem. Uh, nah, don't worry. Understood. I shall heed your advice. Now then, excuse me as I make myself less conspicuous. Hmm. If I stay hidden from view this way, then there won't be a problem, correct? Now then, the school awaits. This is a pleasant surprise. To think there would be a bastion of commerce within a house of academia. Could you please wait here for a moment? There's something I've been curious about for a while. Excuse me, I would like to purchase a school lunch. Um... Sorry? Uh, they don't sell that here. They don't deal in school lunches here? How disappointing. I would have liked a taste of this school lunch, as it is a rare delicacy only served in select facilities. Well, in that case, I shall order some bread. I've heard that having bread for lunch is part of the school experience. I mean, yeah, okay, I guess. that I've checked that off the list. Let us proceed. As for where I'd like to go next, shall we visit your home room? So this is a classroom. With so many students and desks, it's no wonder there's hardly any space between them. But perhaps... Ah, I see. It's designed this way to foster a sense of harmony between classmates. I can sense the care put into this arrangement. You say so. This observation post must be what they call a podium. Hmm, interesting. When I stand here, I do feel a longing to teach well up inside of me. <gasps> First question. Between diet food and super diet food, which is more delicious? Super diet food. That is correct. As a reward for giving the correct answer, you shall receive your own portion of super diet food. Oh, thank you. <laughs> is this what a classroom lecture is like? The quizzical stares are beginning to make me feel unsettled. Let us carry on with the tour. How about the track or the arts? Is Art humanoid studio. figure. Did they seal him inside the plaster to prevent him from escaping? I imagine it would be quite cramped in there. It's kind of funny. Truth be told, I do have some experience playing the piano. Are you familiar with the Velvet Song? Velvet, oh velvet, my master. now velvet oh god that was actually impressive for someone in heels experiencing student life or for boots, myself I guess? today has broadened my perspective of your world i'd very much appreciate it if you could accompany me again sometime to be honest, I don't entirely understand my own motives for coming here. But I'm as curious. I walked closely with you, I... 
How should I express this? I felt very fulfilled. Perhaps what I really wanted to learn at school was more about you. But why? In any case, discovering the reason for this desire will surely serve as an intriguing diversion. Let us return now. Thank you once again for acting as my guide. Could she be in love? My, my. How forward. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. All right. Thank you for showing me around Gekukan High School. I'm slowly coming to understand why being there lifted my no. spirits. Gekukan isn't just a part of your world. It's a place where you spend a great deal of time on a daily basis. You're not wrong. It is a place saturated with your presence. That's why I... Well, perhaps I will set that aside time. for now. There's more than I need to consider. Sorcerer's Mark. No, I'm good. Very well then. What that do? What that do? Ooh, restores a little bit of SP each turn. Okay. Invigorate two. What do I currently have? Invigorate one. So I'll take the sorcerer's mark, and we'll give the felt doll to someone else afterwards. <clears throat> so okay, there is a SP restorative uh, accessories you can you can have. So that was invigorate two. So that leads me to believe there's an invigorate three. Um, because we do have the rejuvenate three. I think it was. Regenerate. So we have Regenerate 2. I could swear we gave... Yeah, Space Badge. Yukari has Regenerate 3. Okay. So maybe we'll give that to her. No. It makes more sense to give it to someone else. Because her healing, she doesn't... Um, Trying to think, because their healing uh, abilities don't take up much SP. Take up what, like five max? Let me think on that. For now, we can continue on. Uh, strip mall. Uh, this is what we were going to do, right? Wanted to make sure. Yeah, I'm not gonna start baby yet. Yeah. There's something I want to talk to you about. Are you free right now? Uh, See you. we don't have a star. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> we need to get a star persona. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Ah, what kind of persona do you desire? So we can get Ganesha. And Kaiwan, who we already have. So I guess Ganesha. Seeing what personas come to be is a great joy of mine. White Rider. Dominion. Yeah, I think we'll do this one, because I think we're done with the star. Uh, sorry, we're done with the sun. I think. Hermit, we're definitely done. Hermit, no, wait. Hermit, yeah, Hermit was Maya. I forgot who the sun was. Are you was. satisfied with this? But, uh, that's okay. What do you wish to inherit? Um. We'll take Bufudine. Uh, resist ailments, I guess. Oh, 
damage pierce, I assume. What's we'll a growth? It appears it will receive a larger <laughs> a new power emerges. My name is Ganesha. Now that I'm here, I guarantee you will never have to be concerned about misfortune again. That's you guarantee it, huh? It's quite a promise. Oh, it seems the Star Social Link has blessed you with even more power. I, I would hope. I'm eight levels in. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Let's do... Hmm. Heavy Strike, Heavy Slash. You have 44 strength. I'll get rid of Deathbound. Okay. Are you finished? Oh, uh, let me register him. Oh, never Are mind. Are you no. finished? Yes. We look. All right, hi, I say. Sorry to keep you waiting. Yo. Yeah. Great, then let's go get some ramen. Today, I'm gonna go with a special extra large. Ooh, baby. So, uh, the big meet for that scholarship was yesterday. Did you win? Are you seriously asking me that? I got first place, of course. Congrats, man. Well, what'd you expect? But really, thanks. I guess this means it's really over. Running track, I mean, kind of makes me feel empty inside. Will you quit running? Like I said, I don't have any regrets. Plus, there's something I need to do. Not to sound dramatic, but I want to do it to protect my family. So I'm thinking I'll get a job. We'll need it to survive. I know where, too. My dad had connections at a car factory, so I'll apply there. Thing is, it's pretty far away. Hmm. Go ahead and order extra noodles. It's on me. Thanks. Yeah, eat as much as you want. You helped me figure a bunch of things out, you know. I always blame school or my family for everything. I was using it as an escape from my own responsibilities. I really lucked out by meeting you. If I hadn't, I'd still be stuck in that same hole. And I'll never forget that. Hi, he opened up to me about his decision. I feel like we're getting closer. Well, I better start packing. Got a lot of goodbyes to get through and not enough time. We should grab a bite again after school soon. Who knows how many chances we'll get after this. Ramen's just too good to pass up, right? Yes, it is. Hiya and I chatted until it got late. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. Appreciate it. Yep. I see you're back. Looks like Mitsuru won't be coming back for a while. I'd like to think that she'll be okay, but I'm not so sure this time. Um, what a relief. 
It sounds like there aren't any major issues with Igus. What a relief. But I wonder if she's doing okay. I hope she doesn't feel guilty or anything. Um, she'll be fine. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. That's really reassuring coming from you. Breaking news. Over the last two days, apathy syndrome has spread even further. Everyone is disappointed after the announcement said it would be it would begin to diminish around the 20th. Yeah. Hey, um It's hard to believe in something. Just because you believe doesn't make it true, after all. Personally, I almost stopped believing so many times, but ultimately, I'm glad that I kept holding on to that. Because <laughs> as it turns out, my dad has always been the dad that I believed it was. That's good. Welcome back, I guess. I am truly sorry. Even though he took control of me, I cannot believe I did such a thing to you. Could you ever forgive me? Of course. You have my thanks. Thank you. I will continue to do what I can to help. Yeah. Chidori, what happened to you? Oh. Is there something going on? Something somewhere? Uh, let's go to the command room. Let's see if there's any new videos. Yeah. Let's watch it. 10 12. This is a month ago. Oh, Yukari. Looks like Yukari's room. Like this, I guess? Welcome. I'll be taking care of you today. Are you ready to order, or do you need a little more time? Hmm. It's too bad the school festival got cancelled. I already went to all the trouble of putting this on, so maybe I should wear it around the dorm for the day. Hmm. Sup, Yucatan? Hey, does that mean you gotta call me master? What's going on, Takiba? You planning to work at Mitsuru's mansion or something? Hmm. Forget it. I've been meaning to return this, but now that I look at it, it's a real uniform. Huh. It's not just a costume. Oh, I should take a picture before I give this back to Senpai. Yukari-chan, are you there? I need your help with something. Sure, well, one sec! I know. I'll drag Fuka down with me. At least then I won't be alone in the embarrassment. Wow, bitch. Yukari-chan, those clothes! I've got a couple spares if you want to try one on. How about it? Huh? Um, wait! Don't worry. Just hold still. It's a little tricky to put on, so it'll be faster if I help. Um, wait! Yukari-chan! The recording ends here. Is there another one? No new recordings. No. Was that it? No. There's still something else going on. Uh, second floor hallway. Let me see if there's something I missed. No. Oh! Koromaru. Oh, right, the dog food. Koromaru seems happy after eating his full dog food. Yep. Wine. I think he looks... It looks like he thinks I'm hungry. Koromaru's giving me a meaningful stare, his eyes full of sympathy.
I think he's trying to share his dog food with me. Maybe I should accept it. Thanks, doggy. Thanks, little pooch. You little borfer. Here's your fucking dog food. I'm no, looking thanks. For Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the results. So this is the food enjoyed by your little furry friend. Oh, label says luxury dog food. Is your friend something of a gourmet? Oh my! What an enticing aroma! Don't tell me they use that as an ingredient. I truly envy your friend for being able to enjoy such luxurious meals. Bone. Bring me a Featherman R action figure. If I may figure. say so. Surely you know the catchphrase: "Evil be gone." The Phoenix Ranger of Love and Justice is here. And allow me to clarify: I am only asking for a Featherman R action figure. Keep in mind, no other feather man will do. Not for this request. I will await a report of. I'm gonna guess that's. Um, Very well. Kanamata. Critical rate up. Bone full of calcium that provides strength to those who chew it. Look what I got for you, Coral. A nice little bone. Uh, a knife used to break swords. Okay. Oh, Mr. Amata, sir. There you are. Oh, hello. <gasps> what? Featherman R doll? Isn't that the prize you can get you can win in a raffle? You enter by buying a pack of gummy gum. Why would you want one? You're already in high school. Uh, I... Well, I do have one. I'm not into it or anything. I just happen to have extra raffle tickets. Um, I accidentally have a dupe of the same color, so you can have it. <sighs> but please take good care of it. But wow, I didn't know you liked Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Maybe we can watch it together sometime. Why not? Hey, I liked Power Rangers when I was a kid. Good day. Here are my re wonderful. I see you've obtained a Featherman R action figure. May I hold it? Interesting. You could put in various poses and play with it. Oh my! Oh, it's flexible enough to be put in this kind of pose. Um, it's maybe a bit overwhelming for me, emo emotionally speaking. You may. How is it emotionally overwhelming for you? The sacrificial idol. No. Very well. A divine artifact that restores all HP upon death once per battle. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, since again we have nothing really to do. Oh right now the temperance are kinda of may help me grow them more. I only have this. Yeah, might as well. Seems like an experience to send Goku Piri through the eyes of a warlord. A cuckoo bird choose, chose for me. Guess I'll be seeing the life in Tokugawa Ieyasu? Finish experiencing the eventful life of Ieyasu. I feel inspired by the man who unified the country amidst an age of turmoil. Someone from Apathy Syndrome at my cram school too. You know what? I heard that the city isn't the only one affected. It's also happening in other places. I wonder what's going to happen in this country. What? Come on, don't say such scary things. I'm sure someone will take care of it. Yeah, I'm sure. <sighs> Excuse me. Let's get on with today's lesson. 
Oh god, another one. Alright, now we begin. Om Vajra Ratna Om. Today, we'll be examining regional forms of magic. First up is India, one of the birthplaces of magic. You may not think of India as an especially magical place, but it most assuredly is. Consider how esoteric Buddhist magic came from India. It was a definite influence on Gnosticism and a foundation of modern day theosophy. It's even said that the Upanishads, part of the Vedas, are the original books of magic. Many ancient Indians were passionate in their search for magic. These Indian magicians emerged in similar circumstances as other places around the world. In India, it's traditional to lead a pious life. But eventually, some people claimed to have gained immense power through tap tapasya. At first, their claims were rejected, but they slowly gained power and numbers. Eventually, they were accepted into common practice. These are the ascetics mentioned in the Upanishads. However, any normal human wouldn't be readily available to mimic their skills. Those known as, as the Tapasa have surpassed the limitations of humanity. Do you think you could fast and pray for months at a time without eating or sleeping? You'd die before attaining any powers at all. So, it's understandable that the Buddha rejected such extreme ascetism. Of course, the Upanishads aren't all about radical practices. They contain very practical methods, too. Yoga, for instance, was also introduced through these scriptures. Say, are you all listening? No out-of-body projections now. How about a test to see if you're paying attention? Get it wrong and you better be ready for a heaping dose of bad karma. Okay, then. Who should I pick? Of course, yours truly. What is the ancient Indian magical text I mentioned today? That would be the Upanishads. Cool. Correct. You still need to live an honest life, though. I can't pile on any good karma. Moving on. There are many different schools of yoga and near countless asanas, or poses, being taught. Some asanas are for health, while others are for prayer. One important branch is hatha yoga, a type of yoga that many people are already familiar with today. In this branch, one cultivates a healthy body to obtain a purity of mind. For some reason, I was unable to concentrate on the lesson today. This is very unlike me. I've never lost focus on an assignment before. Oh, he wants to hang out, eh? Is there anything else to do? Hmm? Oh, it's you. Hey, you see that message I sent you about grabbing a bite? Um, I kind of want to hang out with Yuko just so I can open up that, um, that guy, uh, in the, uh, in Escapade, so I can have actually stuff to do in the evening. But let's see what goes on with Junpei. Let's see if it's worth it. All right. Nice. Want to get something at the shrimp mall? Well, let's go to Port Island Station first. Mind if I pop in there real quick? Welcome. What kind of flowers are you looking for today? Oh, um, they're for a girl who's in the hospital right now. Yeah, well, flowers, are they? In that case, how about these ones here? Uh, let's see. All right, uh, one of those. White flowers? Are you sure about that? Huh? What? Is, is that bad? Well, she likes the color white, so I figured... I'm sure we'll be fine as long as you have a reason. Okay, let me wrap it up for you. Yeah, on second thought, I think I'll pass. Sorry for the trouble. Sorry for the pointless detour. Something wrong? It's just... Look, I don't really get it myself. 
hey, wanna go sit somewhere for a bit? I don't feel like standing around and talking. So, the girl I'm visiting, I think I made her upset. I wanna tell her I'm sorry, but I don't even know what I did wrong. She told me not to come around anymore. So what am I supposed to do? Go see her anyway. That's what you do if you were in my shoes? Oh yeah. I'm sure you would be able to pull it off that way, but... It feels like I'm trapped in some kind of loop, you know? No matter how motivated I get, it, it's getting me nowhere. In that way since I played baseball. Those hero moments, or if I could just hit the ball. Man, I get so amped. Except I never once got to be the hero. Never it was clutch time. I always struck out. And I guess nothing's different now. You're great the way you are. Still, I just... Uh, never mind. Thanks, man. Whew. Feels like I got a huge weight off my shoulders. Didn't think the day would come when I'd be talking to you about my problems, man. But I guess it's not really a secret that I got problems, huh? And besides, I kinda hate to admit it, but the answer you give is probably the right one. Ugh, crap, I'm losing my edge. I need something to get back in the groove. Let's get Katsudano with Katsu to wake us up. Oh, wait, do they even have Katsudon there? Junpei didn't buy the white flowers he picked out. I wonder if he's going to skip visiting the hospital. Hey! You zoning out over there? Junpei and I stopped by Wakatsu on our way home. I don't know if Katsu uh, qualifies as a healthy meal, but you know, whatever. Oh, welcome back. <sighs> I don't understand. What happened to Chidori? Looks like Junpei still hasn't been able to visit the hospital yet. If only I could give Jump Junpei something that would encourage him to take action. Maybe I can... Yeah... I'm wondering now if, if I go back and do Yuko, if maybe it'll show up again the next day? Like uh, Junpei's uh, thing will show up again the next day. You know, fuck it, it's okay. Every channel is showing news related to Apathy Syndrome. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I could get other than the flowers. Come on. Come again. Yeah. nothing up here, right? Yeah. Uh, no idea, bro. And it's Saturday. Oh, well, you have something new? Welcome. new why hmm 
Hmm. What to do, what to do? Honestly, never thought that I'd run out of stuff to do at uh, in the evenings. I mean, I guess I'll take Koromaru for a walk. There's no one upstairs, right? Yeah. All right, Koro. Oh, hey. What are you doing out this late? Ah, walking the dog, huh? I didn't know you had one. We used to have a dog, too. Man, that brings back memories. What? <laughs> He's a lively one, isn't he? I bet running alongside this little guy would be great practice. For now, I'll run along home. I'll see you later. Hey, that's for two. It will probably help us out with our... with uh, getting the max rank. Probably saved ourselves some time. I'm going to do it. A mystery doll set. Calling all doll collectors. We've got a great selection of dolls just for good, you. Good, good. First up, we have the Japanese doll, and it comes in a bundle of three. Look at this fine craftsmanship. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. But wait, there's more. Not bad, kid. We'll throw in homunculus. Two of them, eh? Ten thousand. You know what? Just for the homunculus alone, I'll buy them. Thanks, kid. Bye bye. Um. I wonder if Mitsuru's son's okay. She can't seem to rely on any adults. I suppose adults are less reliable than I thought. Oh, right. Mitsuru will be gone a bit longer. There's so much she has to deal with on her own now. I wish there was more I could do for her. I really like his outfit. Like the gloves and the coat and the scarf and the boots. Or the shoes, rather. On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger, Featherman R. I, I knew it was coming because it's Sunday. Episode 38, Hammer Ambush. Viewers, treat your friends right. On to today's news. Due to the sudden increase of apathy syndrome victims, the hospital is overflowing with... With what? With what? Oh, was he son? He was son. Fuck. Right. I would look forward to the next time I could speak with you. Oh, I do have a... I still have the Thunderbird. Alright, cool. Let's Thank do it. I've been writing more of my story. How much did I tell you about? Oh, right. The pink alligator and the bird became friends, right? This was the alligator's first friend, and he was very happy. They started going to the river every day, and the alligator would listen to the little bird sing. But the pink alligator still had trouble hunting because of his color. He was so terribly easy to spot, and his prey always had plenty of time to escape. Eventually, he became so hungry that he grew dizzy. And one afternoon, he accidentally ate the bird as it slept in his mouth. Of course, he immediately realized what he'd done. He drank swamp water to vomit his friend back up, but he was too late. The bird was already dead. After that, he couldn't bring himself to eat anything. That's as far as I've written. I haven't decided on an ending yet. It's a good story. You really think so? Then maybe you'll enjoy the final product. I always thought the only thing I could give other people was hopelessness. But 
Maybe. You know, when I mentioned I was writing a diary, that was a lie. I was writing my will. I couldn't face reality, and I was essentially screaming curses into my notebook. For now, though, I'm writing my story in the same notebook. It probably isn't very good, but it contains some things that I've learned during my short life. When it's done, I'd like you to be the first to read it. Meeting you is why I started writing it, you know? Miki's looking deep into my eyes. What are we, rank six now? Rank seven. I've been trying to come up with a good ending, but I just can't decide, and I'm running out of time. I've got to go now, but I hope to see you again. Hmm. Tomorrow. I'll visit her for sure, but hmm. I don't know what to say to her. If only I had some kind of reason to see her. Oh, I was gonna get fucking flowers. Oh, shit. What's up, everyone? Um, could it be? Chairman was always telling us lame jokes. Do you think that was even his real personality, or was he just faking it this entire time? Pretending everything was so normal. I wonder if he even enjoyed his time here. Well, no one knows. Not anymore. The answers shall elude us now and forever. Yeah. Who cares? All we need to know is that he betrayed us. I'll never forgive him for using my father. Hey, so. I wonder what'll happen now. Shadows, Tartarus, and the Dark Hours are all still here. The whole reason we were fighting was for nothing, and now we're just stuck here. Unbelievable. This is pissing me off. Damn you, Ikutsuki. D just stay calm! Uh, please calm down, Yukari-chan. Getting angry won't help. Yes. That is correct. It would be more productive to refrain from thinking about him at all. Um... I will follow everyone's example and refer to that man as Ikutsuki from now on as well. Ikutsuki never mentioned anything about his plot, even when we were alone. That is... Meaning, he completely hid his true nature. It is truly an extraordinary feat. This clearly illustrates how unique his psychological state was. Mm -hmm. You're right. The more time I spend thinking about it, the more frightening it seems. <sighs> and all this time, we never suspected a thing. It make, makes me sick. Alright, I guess we're taking Koro for a walk again. There's nothing else for me to do here, right? Take him for a walk. Hey! Oh, hey! What's up? Oh my gosh, that is such a cute dog! You are so lucky. I'm not allowed to have pets at my place. Oh wait, did you hear? Kaz did it again. That Seriously, cause. how many times does it have to happen? This is exactly why his towels stink so bad. <laughs> Sorry, I got in the way of your walk, didn't I? I should start heading home anyway. Oh, see you later, doggy. Hey, good news. I heard the boy who's transferring here today is one hot stud muffin. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, he came to school the other day to submit some paperwork, right? I wonder which class he's in. If our seats are next to each other, we'd have to sit real close to share textbooks. Nuh-uh. Well, he's actually going to be in 2F. We'll just have to check him out later. A new student is transferring to 2F. That's my class. Hmm. First spell is run. Um, before we go on, guys, we're going to take a quick break. A big quick wash and break. Be right back. Alright, sorry about that, guys. 
let's let's see this guy. This new transfer to my classroom. everyone today we have yet another transfer student is this really our third one yes that makes it a hat trick go on introduce yourself my name's ryoji mochizuki i'd appreciate it if you could show me the ropes hey he's kind of cute i was thinking the same thing oh my god me too hey that's allowed <laughs> it's nice to meet you I'm he was what, what did it say? I'm pretty sure he's looking at me. He's living overseas for a long time due to his parents' work. And that means he might not be familiar with all of our customs. Be sure to give him a hand if there's something he doesn't understand. Thanks. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. That one's open. Up front, second from the left. Oh, um, Miss Toriyumi? That seat's taken. You don't show up, you lose your seat. Have I not been clear about this? Life is just a game of musical chairs. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. I mean, that's really not true, uh -huh. but okay. <sighs> hey there. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out to dinner yet. Dinner? <sighs> I guess, what's the matter? <laughs> uh, rejected right off the bat. You're one interesting girl. What the heck? Your teacher understands, I guess. You barely had time in the spotlight as the new kid, and now you have to share it. Except right now, you should be paying attention to me. Hey, is anyone even listening? No. No one's listening. Pay close attention, all right? Settle down, everyone. Just because we have a new student, that doesn't give you license to misbehave. Oh, but I aim to misbehave. Anyone who doesn't pipe down now gets left out of the school trip next week. Got it. Good. Now let's begin. Where did we leave off last time? Ah, forget it. I don't need the textbook for this. I'm feeling sleepy. Uh, let's stay awake. I might need to know something for uh -huh. the exam. Indeed, twas I who found the corpse. That's it. I'm not going to say it again. Be quiet. The students who actually want to pay attention can't hear. If you must gossip, but if you must gossip about Mochizuki Kun, wait until the break, or just talk to him yourself then. Force myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. Oh my god. How was your first day after transferring? I hope you like it here, Mochizuki kun. Okay, I can't say this ever really happened to me, but like, has ever has anyone ever been accosted like this, like during school or whatever, like right after class, like people just approach you, like, "Hey, how's it going? You doing okay? Can I get anything for you? How are you liking every? How are you liking things so far? Like, does that even really happen? Like, I just see it in movies and shit, but does that happen in real life? Oh, I do. And please, call me Ryoji. Hey, do you have plans today? If not, maybe we can go somewhere for tea? Oh, Mochizuki-kun? Sorry to interrupt, but could you stop by the faculty office? I'd like to give you a copy of the paperwork for your transfer. And let's see... Right, could you come along too? Go ahead and take that home with you. That should just about do it. Thanks. Guess I'm done here then. Guess I'm done here. See you tomorrow. Uh, sorry, hold on. Could you two take these boxes over to the music room? All of them? Yes. 
You know where the music room is, right? I think the boxes are full of sheet music. They're really heavy, so be careful not to hurt yourselves. I signed for these packages on behalf of the music club, but I can't keep them here forever. Well, why not get someone else to move it? Or get a fucking dolly or something, like... That damn Ekota. I mean, d Mr. Ekota has been talking my ear off, nagging me to get them out of here. Come on! We can't let the poor teacher carry all that herself. Let's help her out. Ooh, now that's what I like to hear, Mochizuki-kun. Why don't I bump both your composition grades up a little? Joking, of course. Kiss ass. I wouldn't mind handling this by myself, but I did just transfer here. Do you think you could show me the way to the music room? Whew. I think that's all of it. That was harder than I expected, but the teacher needed our help, right? I gotta say, though, you are stronger than you look, huh? Do you work out or something? I have extracurricular activities. Oh, are you on a sports team? Like baseball or soccer? I think there's a track team, too. I'd like to join one, too, but I guess they're not recruiting right now. Oh, that's right. This caught my eye when we walked in. I notice you're always wearing headphones. I take it you're really into music? How about I play you a song to break the ice between us? Sound good? Sure. Great! And here goes. that any good I thought if I impressed you it might be a good way for us to hit it off there's so much that I'm not comfortable or familiar with yet so I want to keep learning and trying new things I heard you transferred here too back in spring seems like we have a thing or two in common you think we can be friends what do you say We're already friends. Oh, <laughs> thanks. It does somehow feel like we've known each other for a long time already. So, uh, what are we supposed to do in this situation? Oh, right. I think we exchange phone numbers. Uh, sorry, I don't have my phone right now. Why don't you just give me your contact info? I'll note it down and get back to you later. That works. Thanks. I'll be in touch. Looks like we still have some time before it gets dark. How about you show me around the school? Just whatever parts you're familiar with. After giving Ryoji a tour of the school, I return to the dorm. There's something about him that lingers in my mind. All the stats of my persona have been raised by one. Interesting. Welcome back. What's up, dude? What do you think of that Ryoji kid? He's going around asking every, asking out every girl he sees. Damn, I wish I had his guts. <sighs> Not another one. Um. Um. What was his name? Ryoji? Ryoji Mochizuki? That sounds right. Anyway, I saw him in the hallway. He has a very strange aura about him. So? I don't like how Ryoji-kun hits on all the girls. Well, he's probably good looking, so a lot of them probably don't mind. Sorry, he's pretty good looking, so they were nice probably. Unlike Junpei, he couldn't get a girl if he was the last guy on the planet. I almost feel bad for him. Wait, what? I heard that. How dare you say something like that about this hunk of burning love. Whoa. Hunk of burning love? What's that? Sounds kind of dangerous. We better avoid it. Negatory. B 
Be careful of Ryoji-san. There's something about him. I don't know exactly what, though. What do you guys think? Think there's uh, something off about him? Seems like a perfectly nice guy. Questions directed to the cultural anthropologists. According to their hypothesis, the current wave of apathy syndrome was due to end on the 20th. However, with the syndrome spreading even further, trust in them has been... Arf. Uh, uh, is there anything else I could do upstairs? No, upstairs. Uh, fuck. I guess I can work. Make some extra cash at least. Not that we really need it, but... Anything else I do would literally just be wasting time. At least this way I can get more money. Uh, this one. Sweat it out while working part time as a waiter. See, you've gotten much better at serving the customers, so I'm increasing your hourly wage. Fucking A, bro. 4,000. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Morning. I heard Kirijo Senpai is coming back today. Uh, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I guess. What should I even say to her? I wouldn't be surprised if she's not up for talking, though. Negatory. Ryoji san is dangerous. I have reanalyzed him and still detect nothing out of the ordinary. Nonetheless, I have a bad feeling about him. Dude, that new transfer student is a total chick magnet. I guess he does kind of stand out. Ugh, I really hate guys who have good looks. Yeah. It must suck to move here from another country. You're always the center of attention. But Mochizuki Kun seems to be seems to be enjoying it. Uh, fuck. I don't have anything. Nope. Oh, let's go to Port Island. Let's see if we can buy the flower. Oh, let's see what these guys are talking about. Since we couldn't go to the beach this summer, he suggested we go to the mountains instead. So I reminded him, and, well, he got it like, he, he got like this. It's so like him. Going to the mountains? Did you really say that? But we, but to really get the mountain experience, we'll need two days and one night at a hotel. I mean, no. No, no, no. We've got to get back to before sunset. Okay, bro. Whatever you say. Hmm, strange. The victims from that incident aren't going away. Usually they, they disappear after the full moon, but maybe something's changed and I didn't notice? Well, whatever it is, it doesn't seem good. time looking around. Yeah, white flower. White flowers that Junpei was gazing at. Might be some. Just one? Please come again. Um I guess we can go with Chihiro. Oh. Uh, I'd like to ask you a favor if you have time today. 
sure. Thank you so much. Uh, this is kind of embarrassing, but will you help me with my homework? It's math, to be specific. Let's talk about it more at the library. A treasurer who's not even good at math. Doesn't that sound pathetic? I never even wanted this job. Someone else entered me into the running. I didn't think I would actually get elected, though. Oh, but I don't regret joining the student council or anything. If I hadn't joined, then I wouldn't have met such kind people, like you or the president. Shut up. You're distracting us. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. If you're gonna flirt with each other, go do it outside. I'm so tired of this. I can't even pick up my pencil anymore. But if you give me a kiss, maybe I can study for another 30 minutes. What are you going on about now? Come on, you gotta take this seriously. Don't you want us to go to the same college? Just give me a kiss, please. <sighs> All right, fine. Ugh. They're really gonna kiss? Do they not know where they are? I know, it's, it's high school. Who kisses in high school? Seriously. They have no shame. <laughs> sure. That's right. I agree. This is supposed to be a place of learning. And they're still just kids. So I say this as a member of the student council. That kind of inappropriate behavior should not be tolerated at school. We should notify the student council president right away and discuss this at our next meeting. You don't like kissing? Th that's not the point here. I'm just trying to say that there's a time and place for everything. Oh no, I... I shouldn't be raising my voice in the library. I don't mind if I get in trouble, but I don't want you to get criticized too. Sorry, what is it? I could tell Chihiro's concerned about me. All right, rank three. Oh, I didn't notice the time. Um, I think I'm going to be stuck here for a while, so you don't need to wait for me. Part of ways with Chihiro. Yeah, Japanese dolls. Welcome back. Greetings, Mitsuru-san has just returned to the dorm. She looked really tired. She just uh, she went straight to her room without saying a word. Are you, are you worried? I speculate. Worried? No, not exactly. How should I say this? I feel I feel responsible for what happened. Yeah. Come to think of it, the crops I planted on the rooftop should be ready to harvest by now. Maybe I should go check on them. Yeah. Mitsuru's back, but like anyone would expect, I'm sure there's nothing we can say to actually make her feel better. All we can do is let her let time heal her wounds. Uh, um. Maybe another time. Every channel is showing news related to the apathy syndrome. Oh, here's a flower, dude. Tomorrow I'll visit her for sure. But, hmm. I don't know what to say to her. Only I had some kind of reason to see her. Uh, yeah. Should I give it to him? Give it to Junpei. Huh? Hey, isn't this... Come, let's have a little chat. Why do you have these flowers? You should give them to her. your deal or is this like a crush thing because this is too much love to handle no not exactly no uh you're acting like a baby 
Whoa, uncalled for? Am I not allowed to be in a bad mood? Damn it. You really backed me into a corner here. I can't just not go now after all this. But, well, thanks. Guess I should take a page out of your book and finesse my way in. Except these flowers don't really make me look cool at all. Maybe I should come bursting in with the whole bouquet. Yo. Okay, I'm gonna try and talk to Jidori. I mean, I can't blow this chance. There's no way I can back out now. I agree. Excuse me. Mitsuru-san appears to be extremely fatigued. I believe it would be wise to leave her be for now. Now, nah, fuck that. Uh, Mitsuru? Can't even knock on her door. Alright, let's go to the rooftop. Grab this shit. Nice. Bunch of soul spinach. Uh, don't plant. Uh, first floor lounge. Um. Say. I'd like to check on the rooftop planters today if possible. Um. Uh, right, actually. Yeah, there's nothing going on. Okay. Let's go plant. Um, so let's do these sprouts, the golden tomato sprouts. Let's see what these do. Plant it. Uh -huh. Yes, this looks good. Just to be safe, we should adjust the amount of fertilizer and make sure they get enough sun. They look like they're growing fine now. <sighs> what a relief. Uh, it's all thanks to you, Fuka. Oh, I only lent a helping hand. I'm sure tending them is important. But it's all thanks to the plants themselves for being so strong. You know, after I treated the plants when they were sick, I kept coming back here to check on them. I noticed that the spots where we had cut off the leaves were already sprouting new ones. And in just a little while, they were healthy and green all over again. Maybe I'm making a big deal of this, but it made me realize that life is actually quite amazing. It didn't matter that they had been weakened or had damaged parts. Just giving them a little support was enough for them to show how strong they really are. We can learn from this. Yes, it really gave me hope. I think in a lot of ways, we're just like them. I'm not sure how to say it, but I hope I can be as resilient as these plants are. Luca's looking tenderly at the plants we've grown together. Oh, nice. Weakness mitigator. Greatly reduces damage taken when an ally's weakness is struck. Very nice. I think, uh, I think we already I'll got that one, one more time, before. Just to show my appreciation. But Maybe I if this I one. keep thanking them, they'll grow even healthier. Yeah, I think we'd have gotten that one before. All right, that should do it. Shall we head back down? Uh, but this one, I think, I think what first ones reduces this one greatly reduces. So yeah, that's good. I will never say no to that. Hey, have you talked to the new transfer student yet? Isn't he handsome? Oh, totally. Yeah, I have. Mochizuki-kun, right? He's so sweet and dreamy. Also, he looks rich. I'm going for him for real this time. What? Th that's not fair. I called dibs. Girls. Oh, girls. Actually going to call it there for today guys 
so we still don't really know where we're headed, what's going on, but at least, you know, now between Chidori and uh, Ryoji, we got something going on, and Mitsuru's back, so we'll be able to talk to her next time and see how she's doing. But yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.